Moving away from the lush and abundant jungles of the south, we find ourselves in an inhospitable land where every day is a struggle to survive. This dry expanse of land is what we now know as the Sonoran Desert in northern Mexico. Not many organisms can survive the harsh conditions of this hot bastion. With temperatures reaching 40 degrees Celsius during the day and minus 10 at night, life has managed to create bizarre and resilient ways to endure the extreme weather. The desert's flora is dominated by cacti and other brittle vegetation. They have evolved in a way that allows them to survive and reproduce with very little access to water. And somehow, the animals that feed on the sweet prickly pears and acidic leaves reflect the harsh nature of their surroundings. The spiky sauropods are in fact a family of Amargosaurus. They are a distant cousin of the much larger relatives, Diplodocus. Despite their unusual appearance, they are gentle animals. Measuring 10 meters, they are the longest sauropods in the region. They form close-knit family groups led by a matriarch. She has led the herd for over 40 years. Traveling from the mountainous regions of central Mexico to the breeding grounds in the woodlands of North America. The place where she and her daughter were born. She knows every nook and cranny in this land. And the herd depends on her to find the most precious resource in this land. water. It is only found in a few select locations. During the rainy season, water flows through crevices and creeks. But now, at the height of the summer, they've all dried up, leaving behind a trail of sand and minerals. The herd will have to cross the desert to reach the life-saving water. Finding oases like this is a welcome sight. Argosaurus can now enjoy the cool water and reinforce family bonds. The 
This stop is essential in replenishing their water reserves. They will need all their strength to traverse the unforgiving desert. But the oasis attracts all sorts of dinosaurs. Here, a bigger herd of desert-dwelling Stuthamimus and Stiggy Moloch have found their way to the water. Despite the extreme desert conditions, they have found a way to cope and even thrive. Struthiomimus has become the most successful ornithomimid in America, thanks to its incredible ability to adapt. Here, they are able to cope with the extreme weather and survive with very little sustenance. They can be found in almost every biome known in America, from tropical regions to this inhospitable land. Stiggy Moloch, on the other hand, is much less adaptable. They are on their way up north to the same greener lands that Amargosaurus is headed to. Unlike their long-necked companions, Stiggy Moloch has a much shorter temper. When threatened, they are known to use the reinforced skulls to attack, something that all Pachycephalosaurids have in common. Today, the herbivores are able to coexist and enjoy a much needed drink. But the road to paradise isn't without its obstacles. The herd has been followed by a band of opportunistic Cetophyses. These small theropods have found much success the same way that Struthiomimus has, by being adaptable. Their slender bodies and strong legs have made them efficient at chasing down their prey. However, the most remarkable feature is their ability to eat whatever's available. From small insects and lizards to larger dinosaurs such as Struthiomimus. But today, they have come to the oasis to quench their thirst. A thirsty hunter is a social animal. This behavior transcends the laws of predator and prey and allow the two species to coexist, even for a few moments. Unfortunately, another local hunter doesn't share the same attitudes as Cetophysis. Peering from up above is a lone pterosaur. This is Tropiognathus, a winged reptile that dominates the arid skies. It's been patiently waiting to make its move. Tropiognathus is the master of the sky, but that does not make it the master of these lands.
This is Indoraptor, a member of the Malasaur D family. She is a hyper-efficient killing machine that relies on her arsenal of lethal weapons to take down her prey. Quick and nimble, she's the top predator in the Sonoran Desert. She's capable of running at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. And like modern Jaguars, three out of five hunts are successful. This pterosaur may have fallen victim to her teeth, but she is after much larger prey. Amargosaurus are tough to take down, and she will need all her strength. But as night falls, a new opportunity arises. And she quickly picks up a target. A dust storm arrives. the herd, this means seeking refuge closer to the mountains. But for Indoraptor, this means an ambush. The dust storm muffles her approach. As morning comes, the real damage of the hunt becomes clear. Last night's kill wasn't just any member of the herd. It was the matriarch. Argosaurus are known to mourn their dead. Her daughter will stay by her side until thirst or hunger take over. As she mourns, the rest of the family will join her. As she must now lead the herd. But they're not out of danger yet. The Indoraptor still lurks nearby. She is highly territorial and will certainly kill any intruders.
but help arrives. A herd of Styracosaurus has come to the oasis. Their horns, two feet long, are enough to deter the hunter. Raptor has no option but to retreat. With safety in numbers, the herd can now regroup and continue their journey north. It will be a harsh journey where only the strong will survive. dangers of the Sonoran Desert are only a constant reminder that life must go on. And through that struggle, life will thrive. Join us on our next episode where we will explore the beauty and the dangers of the North American grasslands here on Prehistoric Evolution.